Hello, welcome to SoGoodReviews.com and SleazyKVideo.com and we are reviewing Centipede Horror and we're on the heels of reviewing The Devil and by chance started the theme of watching Hong Kong and Taiwan cinema letting, so to say, their actors put creepy crawlers in their mouths for effect in absent of effects sometimes and 1982's Centipede Horror arrives in less than refined fashion as expected but carries a genre box of freaky goodies that will satisfy the thirsty genre hordes which in reality today amounts to about 12 people this time as opposed to the devil however we know the main cast got into the action and the creepy stars of the film actually take a back seat when our lead actress have them crawling out of her mouth not once but twice if you're going to work with centipedes you work with centipedes so after a close-up showcase of the centipedes and some narration explaining what dangerous things they are accompanied by moody cinematography and uh, rather aggressive sounds it all follows structure but uh, director Keith Lee keeps matters moving along quite efficiently it's all moving from point A to point B in an efficient manner and sufficient manner as well surrounded by part creepy crawler flick but largely witchcraft is the order of the day so witchcraft and creepy crawler flick why not the technical crew does show a knack for getting audience reaction via makeup in particular anything concerning boils and after flirting with the supernatural genre and ghosts in the movie it's clear via slow middle section of showcasing the geography of Indonesia and bringing to light the past sins now inflicted upon our lead characters in the present it's clear after all this that a rebound is needed so with these, these movies the magic within them and genuine intellect is that many of these films manages to deliver upon a premise even if it's only 20 minutes of the premise certain things actually live up to the hype even if it's only 20 minutes of the uh, content uh, of that type. So the last 20, therefore, is a fine mix of uh, priests uh, dueling it out, a mixture of uh, crude makeup as a result of the various centipede attacks, and the physical elements bringing the last real home in stunning fashion. Again, the creepy crawlers. The centipedes are plentiful, shot with an aura of nastiness and creepiness, and what may lead a new QI gets to go through working with these is nothing compared to the queen of this movie, Margaret Lee, goes through. Mentioned vomiting of centipedes and uh, her dual persona acting is uh, rather sexy as you'll see. And add what looks like skeleton chickens as a tool to combat the centipede spell. And early on some good old exploitation elements in the form of naked exorcism involving adopted ghosts. You have to see it to believe it. After all of this the display is complete. So Hong Kong cinema got busy in the 80s. And not everything worthy of the spotlight got it. Centipede horror remains out of the spotlight, unfortunately, but will kind of forever retain its acclaimed status, even if it's only for 20 minutes.